Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at a beautiful game by Sega fan favorite Yuji Naka to see what all the hype was about when he brought Knights into Dreams to the Sega Saturn. As a huge and still huge Sega fan, I wanted what all Sega Saturn owners wanted at that time, a 3D Sonic the Hedgehog game. The closest we ever got was a Sonic World that was awesome, but a pretty much a hub where you would walk around to select other museums, collectibles, and to play older Sonic games from the Sega Genesis. Needless to say, besides Sonic R, we didn't see a 3D Sonic game until Sonic Adventures on the Sega Dreamcast. So what was Yuji Naka really doing all this time? He pretty much brought the most colorful and visually stunning 3D title with Knights into Dreams. This stunning game was so ahead of its time, it also included a special controller with its own 3D analog stick to make it easier to play. But let's be honest, a nice entry, but why did it take me until now to really play it? The real reason was, I just didn't get it. Knights Into Dreams was developed by Sonic Team and released by Sega in 1996. The game received critical acclaim for its visuals, soundtrack, atmosphere, and for its new gameplay elements. This game was so original and new, even Mario creator Shinjiro Maimoto even gave praise, wishing that he had thought of the idea first. Being first to the market doesn't always mean the best. Knowing Sega, being first in most things like online multiplayer, the Sega channel, to Knights, Sega was always early to the party, but others would refine and redo everything and reap the benefits. I felt Knights was similar in this case. The gameplay is your average game on rails where you play as Elliot or Clarice to help conquer the Nightmare Ruler idea. Pretty simple story where you collect enough orbs in a world to pass three to four levels to eventually fight the nightmare boss for that world. Elliot and Clarice each have their own levels to play that are original and very different but with the same premise. Collect before the alarm clock timer wakes and you repeat over and over again. The game is addictive as you memorize the course and try to beat the levels as fast as you can for high scores. Eventually, that's all you'll be doing like an arcade racing game with different tracks. That is where the problem lies. There is just too much repetition. The camera does change perspective to give life to the levels, but in the end, I'm here playing once, but once I'm done, I don't think I'm going back. The roles are visually stunning, and the soundtrack is nice and pleasant as well. You will smile at times with this game, but you will also get very bored. I promised a friend I would try to play this game after giving up on the Sega Saturn version. The version you see is the Sega Saturn version on Steam on a PC. The game plays much smoother on a newer remaster on PC as it is full screen and with upgraded visuals. The gameplay does play the same, but for some reason there is slowdown in inconsistencies with the Saturn version of the game. Taking a second look at the game, I do respect what Sonic Team was trying to do. It is something out of left field and they stuck to their guns and made it not the most favorite game from Sega's library, but something unique and original from Sega Saturn's era of games. It did prove that the system is capable of beautiful 3D visuals and maybe even more if the system was pushed to its limits. Although Nights into Dreams is a weekend rental and all you'll be truly doing is trying to beat your old scores. I would say give up and move on to the next game. Nights in the Dreams gets a 7.0 out of 10 for its stunning visuals, fantastic musical score, and a wonderful look at what the Sega Saturn can really do. That's it for me on this Take 2 review on Nights. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.
Yeah.